Neuromodulation for epilepsy involves implanting devices either into the brain or on the vagus nerve of the neck. Unlike traditional surgeries for epilepsy, which involve removing brain tissue that causes seizures, neuromodulation allows us to implant devices in the brain that stimulate and reduce the likelihood of seizures starting and spreading. In many cases, these types of surgeries can have less of an impact on functions such as memory, attention, or language, for example. Neuromodulation allows patients to reduce their seizures and in rare cases can have the effect of making patients seizure-free. The three types of neuromodulation for epilepsy are vagus nerve stimulation, or VNS, responsive neurostimulation, RNS, and deep brain stimulation, or DBS. A responsive neurostimulator, or RNS, has two main parts. One of them is a generator, which is implanted in the skull. This sits flush with the skull and is back behind the hairline. The other pieces are electrodes. These are placed either into the brain tissue or they sit on the surface of the brain. The RNS electrodes constantly monitor activity in the brain. When they detect the signals that indicate the onset of a seizure, this triggers the device to deliver stimulation. That responsive stimulation is designed to stop seizures just as they are beginning. So the pros for the RNS is we can long-term monitor patients. So for example, when patients have more than one area of the brain that the seizure is coming from, we can find out what percentage of the seizure are coming from site A and what percentage is coming from site B. Then oftentimes we'll go back and do surgery for that patient. Neuromodulation um, offers hope for patients in whom resective surgery often is not an option. Our team of neurosurgeons and epileptologists work with our patients to determine what their goal is from epilepsy surgery, from coming to us, and we help them navigate through this process no matter how long it takes.